Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 40. So the past two days, we've done our pre-listing packet and our listing presentation. Today, we're gonna to be back in designs, but I wanna show you the ability to create a sort of a blank design where you can bring in your own content, and more importantly, create something for the kids. I don't know about you, but if I find out that I have um, a listing appointment that I'm going on and children may be involved in the family, I try and do my best to provide something a little bit extra that uh, will further kind of enamor me, if you will, with the sellers and more importantly, their family. Um, and so I <clears throat> wanted to show you how you can actually create a blank or a coloring book page, if you will, uh, using designs and a blank content. So creating something for the kids, if you will. So we're gonna go into the designs applet here on the left-hand side, and we're going to click on the plus sign. We are creating a print asset because this is gonna be the coloring book page that we want to print so we can bring with us. And I'd go to the dollar store and buy yourself a, you know, several sets of crayons so you can bring that for the children as well. Uh, but when you first come in, we always see templates and we can choose from all of these templates. In order to create a blank template, we're actually gonna come into my designs here at the top. So we're gonna click on the My Designs tab. And when you do that, you can see the first option you see here is Start From Blank. So I'm gonna click on Start. It's gonna ask me to kind of figure out a format or do a custom size. And so in this case, I can choose Flyer, which is gonna be eight and a half by 11. That's what I want, Flyer's letter size. I could have also chose Custom Size and gone that route and put in, chosen inches and then done eight and a half by 11. But since I know my flyer is already eight and a half by 11, this works for me as well. So in order to kind of create this coloring page, I have found a site that I like to use here on the internet. It's called bestcoloringpagesforkids.com. And you can search for a variety of different coloring pages that they have, uh, but you can see I just put in house and got a whole series of different coloring pages for houses. You can see they have some for the winter, They've got some Halloween ones that you could use, right, for the different seasons. But I like this little house on the prairie one down here at the bottom with the tree. So I can click on this one. It actually pulls it up there. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to save the image. And so I'm going to save that image as a little house on the prairie coloring page. I click on save. I've got now got that saved on my hard drive so that when I come back to command, I'm going to go into images and I'm going to add an image from my hard drive. So this is how you're bringing in images to your own hard drive. So I'm gonna click on this box. It's gonna pull up my uh, file explorer on my computer. I'm gonna choose the image I want to bring in. It's gonna bring it in over here on the left-hand side to get it added to the template. All I need to do is click on the plus sign and you can see there it is now brought into my template. I wanted to take up more room on this page, so let me go ahead and resize it there. I'm dragging these corners out to make sure that it's taking up as much as possible. Now, this is more of a horizontal um, you know, coloring page. If you wanted something more vertical, you can find those as well. Um, but I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna come along and then I wanna add my team logo. So I'll click on the logo. It drops that in there as well. So I can kind of move that up to the top, maybe make that a little bit smaller and then center it. You can see that blue line basically indicate, indicates that I'm right in the center of my page. And then down here at the bottom, what I like to put in is I have a little uh, kind of blurb about a coloring contest uh, that I run for the kids. And so I'm gonna come in and put in text and I'm going to uh, basically, I'm sorry, let me come over to text here. Let's drop in body text. We'll put it down here at the bottom and we'll click on the typewriter button here at the top. And I'm gonna take out body text and paste in kind of what I've written. It basically just says, welcome to Summit Property Group's Summer Coloring Contest, enter your child, children's drawing, just have them color this drawing in, hand it back at the end of the appointment or take a picture of it and send it to us. And I give my email address. And then I say, we'll be giving away prizes throughout the summer and we'll feature your children's artwork on your Facebook page. So this is a great way to kind of follow up with the touch after the appointment, right? Even if you don't get the actual listing, you could still follow up with them and say, hey, I just let you know your children's artwork has now been featured, you know, whatever it may be. So we're gonna click on that text box. We don't want it to be that tall. We want it to be wider. 
and it's just gonna keep on going, isn't it? So we're just gonna keep shrinking it down until I can get to the sidebar, here that is, and I can bring that out. That's giving me a little bit of trouble. Let's just delete that, and let's go into text here. Um, let's just drop in something that's already there. All right, so we'll put this in, and then I should have resized this first, and I apologize, All right? I'm not perfect either. And so we'll click now on the typewriter and paste over that. That should get us cooking. There we go. So now I can put that there. Let's go ahead and click on the text box again and let's center that. Now I see I have a little bit more space that I can take up. So maybe I do 26. Let's bold it. I don't want it to be right at the edge. So let's take it off just a little bit so it's not going over. Also, just so you know, if you have a, a, a design with a white background on this light beige, sometimes it's hard to tell where, you know, especially uh, I'm 42, right? My eyesight's starting to go. Um, I can always come over here and click on file and I can do show grid and that will better show me kind of where my lines are so I can center things and make things look a little bit better as well. So just another tool tip there for you. Uh, but now I basically have this coloring book page and I can drag this in just a little bit more there. And now I'm pretty much done, right? So I could literally go in, I'm gonna make this uh, coloring book page, right? So I have that now named, and then I wanna download it. And I wanna download it as a PDF so that I can print it. We can do high res print quality, it's only one page, and I would click on start download. Now quickly and easily, I have a coloring page, a great example of how to start a design from blank, right? We have some amazing templates. Our marketing team is amazing. But every now and then you wanna just have a blank template to start from. You can now see here's my coloring book page and I can print off several copies of this, hit up the dollar store on the way to the listing, buy some crayons, have several copies ready to go and then hand this out at the appointment. One, if you're keeping the children busy, sometimes your appointment goes even better because they have something to do while you're focused on the actual client. Tomorrow, we're gonna take this one step further. I actually have a version of a children's contract, a contract that you can make with the children involved in the sale of the house uh, that can help get their buy-in as well. So look forward to that tomorrow. As always, it's a pleasure speaking with you. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thanks so much.